Hello again. Welcome to Jazz West Midlands. I'm Phil Rose from Birmingham Jazz. And this particular artist is one picked by us. It's a special piece produced by Ant Law. He's a little, little solo piece, a little talk to camera and a couple of group settings he's had. As before, if uh, you want to make a donation to help towards uh, funding these musicians to make these special digital recordings, uh, there's a button on this page. Okay, enjoy. Hey, Jazz West Midlands people. Thanks very much for tuning in. Ant Law here from um, Ant Law HQ, my flat in East London. Uh, I'm really pleased to be presenting you today with some videos um, that I've had for a little bit and I wasn't sure how to put them out into the world. So now the time has come and uh, I'm, I'm really pleased. I've got a, a cool set for you to hear. Um, starting with Aquilinus, which is um, quite an epic piece from my last album, Life I Know. And you're going to hear my quintet exactly as per the album and the one before that and the, and the next album it, uh, with Michael Chillingworth on alto sax, Ivan Neem on piano, Tom Farmer on bass and James Madron on drums. This was a performance at the Bear Club in Luton, which was a wicked club uh, to play at, but it actually closed. Uh, nothing to do with Corona or anything like that. It just closed. Um, and the acronym was all uh, the Bear Club, it was TBC. So that was always a little bit confusing. But um, anyway, it looks cool and um, I hope you enjoy this piece, Aquilinus. Thank you. 
wicked piano solo there from Ivo. Um, that's one of my favorite things about this band, um, listening to when Ivo plays trio with Tom and James. And I think Ivo enjoys it so much that he he's built his quartet uh, along with George Crowley on tenor sax, but he, he's kind of built that a little bit around that, that dynamic that he has with Tom and James, where things can, can become incredibly open. It's quite exciting to listen to them. Um, okay, now to a different gig and slightly different lineup, but Michael Chillingworth is still here. Um, this is the Bristol Jazz Festival, and I wanted to do something special for this one, so I called Ferg Ireland on bass, who's playing I Love very much, and Mark Michel, who is um, someone who I've only got to know recently, but an amazing drummer from Lyon, but he's been in London for a little bit now. And this piece is Harvest. And this is from the new album, The Sleeper Wakes. And it's, it's supposed to be a, a, a joyous piece. When there are no other chordal instruments, um, it becomes quite spacious and there are dark, darker elements there, but Nonetheless, it's, uh, it's, it's titled Harvest to try and reflect a kind of summery, harvest, joyous energy. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Thanks very much. Let's go to another recent performance now. This one is from the Limerick Jazz Fest. When Phil Rose approached me, he uh, he requested this piece, so I uh, I thought this would be a nice one to include. This is from the last album. It's called Pure Imagination. Hope you like it. Most of the concerts in the Limerick Jazz Festival are held in one multi-venue space uh, called Dolan's. And um, well, there's a couple of bars in Dolan's, but in one of them, there's an Irish traditional music session every night. Uh, songs, jigs and reels, you know, accordion, guitars, singing, um, fiddle. So needless to say, lots of, uh, lots of beer was drunk and fun was had there by, by many people. Um, if you ever get a chance, go and go and check it out, Limerick Jazz Festival. Um, okay, so let's finish back um, where we started. Let's go back to the Bear Club. Um, this was our last piece um, of the set on the night. It's and it's actually where I started. It's the first track on my first album, Entanglement. It's called Kandajati. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching, and I, I hope you've enjoyed it. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Thank you.